Before we make the particle effects for the gun flash, let's take a look at the texture that we're going to be using for the sheet. In your textures folder, in your source assets, go to the jet folder and open up the one that says muzzle seqb. Okay, so there we are. And you can see all of these tiles, even though they are within their boundaries, uh, graphically, visually, they're not aligned. Well, that's because we've got several guns here and we're going to be attaching several of the particles. So this is kind of the effect that we want to go for. We don't want all of this to be uniform. Now, considering most of these particles will not really be moving, they will be mostly staying in one position, we have uh, choices either to calculate the position, we can give them a random position where to start, or we can do this via texture. Texture is going to be a little bit more efficient, not by much, but why not save some resources? So let's get started with the particle system. Game object, create other, particle system. I'm going to minimize all this. And go into the C mode. We're going to be turning it in the other direction. Zero. And we are going to create one and then we'll duplicate the other along with its light. Okay, now the duration for this we want to be rather short. So I'm going to set this to one. The speed in which they're moving, they basically will not be moving. I um, believe that we can actually go negative. I'm going to set this to something very low, 0 0.01 size for this even though I mean we haven't applied the texture yet I think that they're going to be too big anyway so let's decrease this to maybe half okay let's apply the texture now so we can actually see what we're working with I'm going to go into my materials folder and apply a muzzle Okay, once again, we do need to add a texture sheet module. And how many do we have? Two by two. Okay, so now what's the biggest problem here? I think it's the shape. They're emitting way across outside of this, uh, outside of my model, outside of this shape of this muzzle. So we need to go into, uh, the emission is actually fine. I'm going to go into shape here. And we have it set as a very wide cone. It's almost like a cylinder. And I'm going to change this to a box. And this will give me a little bit more control. Okay, so for the X, we don't want this to be that big. Shrink it down a little bit, probably even smaller. Something like this. And then for the Y, bring it down a little bit as well. And the Z will be the depth. So let's uh, make this actually pretty small. I don't want to make this zero, eh, something like this. So now currently this machine gun is more reminiscent of the sun. So a problem that I can see up here is that these particles are remaining for way too long and then are just basically stacking upon one each other and creating this additive effect and then after that just multiplying on top of each other. So what we need to do is kill them off faster. So I go into my start lifetime, start bringing that down for bring this down all the way to zero, by the way, well, we see that this uh, machine gun starts firing them off one by one. Um, uh, maybe bring it down a little further up. 0.28 is fine. So now we'll be, probably will not be looking at it head on. We're looking at it from somewhat from the side from the top 
Well, it depends. I guess it depends how much you're firing. Then you could increase the lifetime or decrease it. Okay, now which muzzle am I working with? I'm actually working with the right muzzle. So I'm going to take this particle system. I'm going to rename it. Um, muzzle flash. And I'm going to move it to the right side. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, what I'm going to do so I don't have to have two of these particle effects, if I say, for example, change one, I want the other ones to change as well because both of these are identical. I'm going to, first of all, parent this light onto the muzzle. And then I take this muzzle and I just drag it on to the prefabs. Just take this entire game object and drag it on in your prefabs folder. Um, this is the file from the source assets. You may keep it. Or, uh, is that what advice uh, for a more hands-on experience to create your own? In either case, I'm going to keep this here, but this you will see immediately when you download the source assets. Okay, considering we already have this here, we simply take the muzzle flash, we duplicate it, and we bring it on to the other muzzle. So here we are. Now we have both of them.